<laughs> Welcome back to Daybreak. Second graders at Meadowbrook Elementary are going to have such a fun experience yes. today with this man. They get to learn how to write jokes from Alan True. Oh, okay, Alan. So you got you got a whole day to teach these second graders. You have two and a half minutes right now to give us a crash course on how to be funny. And let me tell you, I don't really need the work, but Teresa does. Oh, yeah, okay. So you don't need any work, so go ahead, be funny into the camera right now. <coughs> <laughs> that was great. He's a natural, everybody. Okay, Teresa, you were telling me about a joke that your daughter tells. Oh, my so. husband is like the king of dad jokes. He and Casey both have a lot in common in this realm. So she's trying to mimic him, and she wears plaid to school. And she says, isn't this platiful? See, that's funny. It you is? Tell I didn't think no. so. Casey, are you a dad? I'm not a dad. You're not a dad. You just I, tell a, bad jokes. Just tell so that's bad what's jokes, funny. Right. So that if you were on stage, if you were going to present that as a stand-up act, that's what I, I would go on stage and be like, hey, guys, I'm going to tell you a bunch of dad jokes. I don't have any kids. I just have a bad <laughs> sense of humor. So. <laughs> I'm a dad in training. See, that, that would actually that would work as there a stand-up bit. So you take things that you say, take things that happen in real life, and you try to structure it into what would work as a stand-up joke. That's that's all stand-up is, is things we say in the course of life or funny things that our kids say or our parents say or whatever. And, oh, look, they're showing me crushing it. That's great. <laughs> That's great. You, guys, you guys got that so in the how, how do you construct some of these jokes then that, you know, put us to the test, I guess? Okay, so I usually, when I am observing something, I see, like, we were just talking about the Oscars. I keep a phone note file the whole time of things that are just running through my head. And then later I go back and try to write that into a structured joke. So all of these things that have, have come through my thoughts, can any of this be made into something that's stage ready or stage appropriate? So people so. at home could do this when they're watching a show. They can just go, okay, anybody can do it. That's what it is. My the job, end. anybody can do it. That's the <laughs> point of all of this. If any, yeah, all it takes is three minutes of a crash course and you'll be ready to go up at Laugh Fest. There's a first timers showcase. So if anybody really wants to actually do it, try it for the first time, that's a great place to do it. But that's how I do it. I think that's how a lot of comics do it too, is you, we don't just sit down and say, like, I'm going to try to write this today, or I'm going to talk about this. It just sort of pops up, and then you mold it from there. So the we idea. have, like, 30 seconds left. What's, what can we do here? Well, if you don't have written material, usually <laughs> you have to be physically funny. So is there anything physical that you guys can do? Is there a trick you can do? Huh. I can look about six months pregnant if I just turn now, like see, that. that's oh, hilarious. That's <laughs> it's funny. hilarious. Now, how far along are you? About six months pregnant. Oh, about six months pregnant. See, there, there you go. I can look exactly the level of pregnant that I am. That's funny. Yeah, it's hilarious. So, and I guess the joke would be is I can look six months pregnant too just by turning into this. Just by, right, just by right. going to Taste of Granville. Yeah, and eating we all the, see, we're bringing it back. That's the other thing is thinking of things that you can call back to reference things that the audience might have just heard about like that. That's, that's a good little, it's almost like a cheap laugh to call back to something like that. So when I said that Teresa needed the work full circle here, it's because I'll never be funny. <laughs> that's, there you go. And your tie is platastic in your pocket. <laughs> We should put Terry on the spot now. Ah. What you got for us, Terry? Well, I think Mother Nature is the one with a real sense of humor around here because we've got a February weather rerun going on in the weather department. Snow showers, bitterly cold air, and it looks like it's going to linger for the next couple of days. We'll break it down with Team Weather.